mateys, it be me, ye old Barry Steak Fries. And I received some pretty exciting news this week, guys. I was flicking through the old Steak Fries family archives, as one tends to do on a Saturday night, and I discovered something pretty darn amazing. I have a distant relative who was an actual pirate. Ha ha ha! This is true, guys. My great, 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 uh, great, um, well, I'm not exactly sure how many greats he was, but he was pretty great. His name was Bartholomew Steakbeard, and he was a real life swashbuckling pirate. Ha ha ha! Lived around the start of the 1700s, and he sailed the seven seas. Well, maybe not all seven, and I couldn't actually find any definitive evidence of him ever getting on a boat, but he did have a beard and he had a wooden leg. That's pretty piratey, guys. Uh, in in uh, in all truth, his legs were fine. The, the wooden leg originally belonged to someone else, but he probably stole it because he was such a badass pirate guy. And here's the best part, guys. He was the first pirate to ever have a parrot on his shoulder. Ha! Yeah. True story. I mean, look, it wasn't his parrot, it just just happened to land on his shoulder, but in doing so, started a very famous pirate tradition, uh, and apparently Bartholomew Steakbeard wasn't very happy that the parrot was there, it did a poo on the sleeves of his jacket, so he yelled at it, and it flew away. And because his sleeves then had bird poo all over him, he ripped them right off! Yes! A true trailblazer, my friends! In more ways than one, my ancestor Bartholomew Steakbeard, who was definitely a pirate and is definitely real, is being honoured this week with our latest Jetpack Joyride event, the Pirate Event, yes! Now, look, before we go any further, I realise that there may be a rumour floating around that I was very upset that Dan the Man got a pirate event a few weeks back and Jetpack Joyride did not. This isn't true, guys, okay? I just want to clear this up before we go any further. I certainly didn't barge into the half brick offices and kick and stamp my feet on the ground like a child because I didn't get the pirate event first. And during said meeting, which again did not happen, I certainly didn't wind up on the ground in the fetal position crying until it was agreed that Jetpack Joyride gets a pirate event as well. Now, that may be an oddly specific amount of information about something that I can categorically say did not take place, but I just feel it's necessary to put that on the public record. No tantrum from steak fries. The powers that be simply decided that in light of the Bartholomew Steakbeard revelation, giving Jetpack Joyride a pirate event was the right thing to do. I definitely did not create any public spectacle and threatened to quit. All right, that's not my style. So I've cleared that up. Let's get to a few comments for this week. Christian Stefanov says, what is going to be the event when Star Trek ends? Ha <laughs> ha! Yar, Christian. Pay attention, me lad. It's the pirate event. And it's live right now, guys. Runs until later this month. It's pretty great fun, this. You should totally get amongst it. There's a pirate, a zombie pirate costume. Uh, treasure chest jetpack, which is pretty great. Some awesome vehicle skins. It's all totally piratey and awesome, Christian. You should play it, and so should everyone else. You should all play it, and I guarantee you, Bartholomew Steakbeard would be proud if he had the foresight to know that there would ever be handheld mobile devices with games on them in his honor. Um, Mr. Lort says, hey Barry, what are your thoughts on detached sleeves? Well, Mr. Lort, I've been pretty open and honest about my shirt sleeve ripping disease which is totally a real thing, not to be laughed at. Uh, but as we heard earlier, it appears to be a bit of a genetic disorder, going back generations. So I guess, Mr. Lord, I'm feeling a bit better about them now that I've, I'm getting this new information. Uh, thanks for checking in, though, mate. Appreciate that. Mr. Groudon says, Barry, how well do you think you would perform against the ninjas in Dan the Man? Yep. I fancy my chances, I reckon. Now that I know I've got pirate in me blood, a pirate would totally 
beat a ninja in a fight, right? Wouldn't they? Well, I'm saying yes. Definitely yes. And if they wouldn't, I would just use my jetpack to fly away. Um, one more here from LOL FNAF. Says, yay! Yeah! That is the type of enthusiasm we like here on the Barry Vlog. I assume that is in relation to Bartholomew Steakbeard or the Jetpack Joyride Pirate event or both! Or perhaps LOL FNAF is just a particularly joyful character. I hope all you guys are feeling joyful and you have a great week. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, play the new pirate event on Jetpack Joyride. Catch you next time, me hearties. Yarrr!